asked me up and down, up and down. Hello everyone, Callie Stormdoll here and today we're entering the world of Jurassic World Dominion. This is presented by Mattel and right here we have the release and rampage pack. Hmm. So when I was at the store, I saw this pack and I saw this character and I saw this dinosaur and I said, when have I seen an albino dinosaur? And that's when I looked at her and I said, she looks interesting. So I just picked them up. This is going to be the third film in the Jurassic film series. So this is the back of the packaging. So it says you get a Atrosauroraptor and you get Soyonion Santosh. And it says that it's um, a cage that you can release. So she waves this baton and then it's supposed to rise up the cage and then it comes out. And on this side, it looks like you can put some type of chip in the back of the dinosaur. And I guess scan to unlock. So what we're going to do, and we'll look at on this side. Ooh. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this packaging and then we're going to do some comparisons. Because I have some figures from the Jurassic World Netflix series. And then I have some from the first Jurassic World movie. And I think these aren't all in scale because this figure almost looks like it's the same height. And this guy's a teenager. So we're going to get into these comparisons and we're coming right back. All right, and we are back and we have Santos and her um, pet dinosaur out of the packaging. So here is the dinosaur. You can get a good look at him. His mouth, they did give him mouth detail. You can see his eyes. He does have nice articulation. He has arm articulation, hip articulation, and it looks like tail. And I think right here is the chip. I don't know how to, how do you get the chip out? Let's see. Oh, okay. So when you pull it out, I guess it, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how this plays a factor in the movie. Because if these dinosaurs just have these chips in their back, they aren't real. So basically, with these, this new cage, you can place when he's in their clothes, you can kind of look in there and look for him. But his tail is in the other end. So now he's caged. So now we can look over the Sonya figure. And she is... So she's just under the 4 inch mark. And it looks like Miss Santos comes with some accessories. She comes with this electric baton. I believe it's to tame her beast if she needs to. She also comes with some type of remote control it looks like. So she has a baton and a remote control. So it's like she's trying to control the beast. This is her face makeup. And um, I thought it was cool that we got a chance to see a different character in the, that's going to be in the movie. And looking at her outfit, she looks like she's going to be fashionable. Because her boots are actually connected to her pants all in one piece. Kind of giving me the idea that, yes, she's going to be someone who's not afraid to have a battle. Because I feel like if you're the ones who are always more fashionable are the ones who don't mind being a villain if they need to. Yes. You know, time time will tell, you know, what's, what is it going to be given? So now that you guys have seen this, do you think that you're going to check out um, Jurassic World Dominion? Well, let's get into some comparisons. So right here, I have this figure from the um, Zombie Lab. So this is um, a figure from Zombie Lab. So you can see Sonya comparative to him. She is a little bit shorter. And this is Sonya comparative to um, a figure from the first Jurassic World movie. And you can see she's a little bigger than her. So this is interesting. So they're basically like the same height. Which, if they are in the movie, that'll be interesting too. Then we have her next to this G.I. Joe figure. So you guys can kind of see how she looks comparative to that. And both of these are movie figures. It's compared to some of the kids. And she is a little bit bigger than them. 
from Camp C from Netflix and you can see she's a little taller. So overall, I do think it is a cool collection. Right now, this is $19.99 at Target. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can go there and get it. And this is my um, Jurassic World figure collection so far. So you can see the figures I have there from the um, TV show and the movie. And kind of get into those height differences and comparatives. But this is really nice. So for those of you who have just been looking for a cage, now you have one. And if you want, you don't have to put this one in there. Because I brought this other dinosaur out um, so you guys can kind of see. They kind of are like the same build a little bit, but a little different. But if you didn't want to put him in it, you can put the tail comes out the back part and then you drop it but i don't think you could put more than one let's see oh no you could so you can so right now it's actually two dinosaurs in there so i don't know it's totally up to you how you want to do your play factor but it looks like more than one could fit in there so if you had smaller ones you could do that um, I know some people online were already saying that they were going to get more than one so they could line them up like a bunch of cages and things like that. So I think that's going to be cool. But I want to thank you guys for watching today. Um, overall, I do think like the paint apps and everything for these figures are really good. I think um, this is going to be a fun movie. This is um, action figures from Jurassic World and this is Dominion. I believe this is the third film in the installment. So if you guys want to check it out, it's coming soon. I want to thank you guys for watching today. If you're new to my channel, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know, what was your favorite Jurassic World movie? So not Jurassic Park, not the Jurassic Park trilogies, just the Jur Jurassic Worlds. And I would have to say, because I haven't seen Dominion yet, out of the ones that I've seen, I would have to say... The first one still is my favorite because I couldn't believe when her assistant got caught up by the bird. You guys remember that? It was um, the girl had an assistant and the assistant got snatched up by the bird. I said, oh my goodness. So the first one still kind of stands strong. The second one was okay, but it was a lot going on in the second one. I think some of you will know what I mean. It seemed like it was a lot going on in that second movie, so... I think the first one still stands firm, but we'll see how um, Dominion does. I'm liking the name, King's Dominion. I'm liking the name. So we'll see what the movies actually bring into the e-party. But once again, I want to thank you guys for watching with me today. And remember this, I will see you on my next video.